Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks in the industry to owning and operating a very successful Rust server. I hope everyone is well, and I hope everyone is doing everything that they can to help flatten the curve in these crazy times that we live in right now. I'm on like day 18 of self-isolation. I haven't been going to work. I haven't been doing anything outside other than the absolute essentials, which I hope you are too. Don't leave your house unless you absolutely have to. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a custom map onto your server. Now, whether you've created that map yourself on Rust Edit, or you've downloaded it from the forums that they provide, or however else you've acquired a custom map. This video is going to show you how to actually install it into your server so that you can play on your brand new custom map. But first, before we get into any of that, if you haven't already done so, make sure you join the Discord. I'm gonna put a link to it up there, and I'm also gonna put a link to it in the video description down below. Once you actually get into the Discord, there's approximately about 240 or 250 members in there. Some of them are really, really great at working with plugins and servers, and some of them are just starting out. So feel free to join if you have any problems with your server. There's plenty of people in there that are fully capable to help you out. And most evenings I make myself available to take calls so we can work one-on-one -on -one together with your server to fix whatever issue you might be having. Secondly, I'd also like to mention that I have started a Patreon account. So if you want to support the channel, I'll put a link to it up there and down in the video description down below. So if you feel like tossing a couple of bucks towards the channel to help support it, that's how you do that. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the Patreons that have already joined my Patreon. Considering the crazy times that we live in right now, these people took it upon themselves to actually help support the channel, which is absolutely amazing. And I appreciate every single one of you. So if you'd like to have your name displayed in this bar right down here below with the rest of these Patreons, hop on over to patreon.com slash srtball to help support the channel. Okay, so let's get into loading our custom map. And surprisingly, this process is not that difficult. There's a couple of steps that we have to do, but I'm gonna show you each and everything that you have to do along the way. So just to show you that we're actually starting out with an actual proc gen map, I'm just gonna give you a real quick fly around of my map. So this is a 1K. I just put a 1K map in there so that it would load really quickly because I knew I was gonna be changing it out right away anyways. So this is our regular proc gen map. And this right here, this is just the batch file for the test server. You've all seen this before. And I'm sure many of yours look exactly the same as this or similar to it. So there's three main CVARs that I want to bring your attention to. These are CVARs that we're actually going to remove from our batch file and replace with a single command. And I'll show you why. So these three CVARs that I have highlighted right now are the ones that we're actually going to remove out of this batch file. The first one is requesting for a proc gen map, which we are not. We're using a custom map. The second one is the server seed. Well, that no longer matters anymore because we're not actually using a procedurally generated seed. We're using a custom map. And the server world size is the third one. The world size is now going to be determined by our custom map as opposed to automatically generating a world seed size. So we're actually going to delete all that stuff out and we're going to replace it with this line right here, which is minus level URL, no spaces, no dots, no nothing, just straight up like that. And then in the quotations, we're going to put the internet address of where we're hosting our custom map. So now this might get a little bit weird or complicated for some people. There are some specifics that you have to follow in order to make this work. Now you can host your map on any publicly accessible location. So that can be Dropbox, that can be OneDrive, that can be any free hosting place that you can make this file publicly accessible. Now, I like to put these files on my own commercial website, but they're still just as publicly accessible. So here we are, I've just created this, whatever, this is a trash map, whatever, I don't care. But it, you're gonna see once I've loaded this into the server, how it's actually gonna populate and the fact that I'm actually using a custom map. So I'm simply gonna go save as, and we're gonna save this map as test version 2.1, whatever, doesn't matter. And we're just gonna save it to the desktop. And then I jump over to my website, the back end of my own commercial website. I'm going to drop in a new file there and I'm going to upload it. And we're uploading map test version 2.1. Now we have our map uploaded to our website. We just need to publish that. And then we'll go to the actual website and just click refresh. And as you can see there, it's now showing test version 2.1.map. All right, so now we just need to copy this link address. And like I said before, if you're doing this from Dropbox or OneDrive, you can do the exact same thing. You can get a link address from those places as well. So this functionality is gonna be exactly the same. It's just my location is gonna be different from yours, unless you have a website, in which case you can do the exact same thing. Post it on your website, grab the link address, and we're gonna take that over to our batch file right now. 
So we go back into our batch file and we just want to paste that address in the level URL in between the quotes. And because of the formatting that I use on my batch files, I'm going to put a carrot at the end of that line right there. I'm going to have a quick once over, make sure everything is okay. And that looks good. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to restart our test server. And as you can see there, as my server is starting to load up, you can actually see that it loaded custom map from the address that we put in there. So everything is looking good so far. So we'll just wait for this to finish up. So while we're waiting for this to finish booting up, I'd like to see what you guys are working on. So take this opportunity to actually post your name of your server down below, providing of course that you're using a custom map because I want to log into each one of them and check out and see what kind of stuff you guys are doing. So I actually thought I found a problem with this map. So I actually reverted it back to version 2.0. So we'll see if this map loads a little bit better. I would find it a little bit strange that the server actually had a problem loading a map because it typically doesn't matter. Even if you don't have your assets or anything like that put in the right places, you can literally spawn in a map that is just an ocean with no map on there at all. So I don't really understand why it was having a problem with it, but it got stalled right here like it is right now. So we'll just wait this out and see how long it takes. So as it turns out, version 2.0 and version 2.1 were the exact same map and they had the exact same problem. So I reverted it back again to another map that I had created and this one booted up fine. So it is worth noting that you can have problems on your map that is gonna prevent it from loading. So keep that in mind when you're building custom maps. Typically, if you're downloading maps from the Rust Edit Forum though, they will have gone through all of these problems already. You shouldn't run into this issue. You're only gonna run into this problem if you've built the map yourself. All right, let's log into the game and see what this looks like. So as your server is booting up for the very first time, it's actually gonna have to download this map from wherever you've hosted it from. And you'll actually see it say that while it's loading it up. But because I've used this map previously, it's not gonna show. Here we are on our ridiculously simple map that we've now created. Literally, I spent about seven minutes putting this together just so that I had something to show you guys. All right, so there you have it. That's how you load a custom map into your very own server. Of course, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And again, if you haven't already done so, make sure you join the Discord because there's a ton of information there and there's a ton of members in there that want to help you out. It's an incredible resource. I'm absolutely floored by the amount of support that I'm getting in that Discord. There's so many members in there that are willing to help other server owners when I'm not available. It's absolutely fantastic. I also want to give another huge shout out to my current Patreons. If you want to become a Patreon to help support the channel, make sure you check out the link above. And of course, I'm going to put it in the video description down below. If you want to get your name scrolling across right here, become a Patreon. It gives you special access to a Patreon only channel in the Discord where you can have direct access to me. Not that you don't have direct access anyways, because I take hundreds of calls every month helping out just getting in on a one on one call with a brand new server owner or somebody that's struggling with whatever and we work through everything that they're having issues with once you are a patreon of course you get your own dedicated role which means you stand out amongst everyone else showing that you are a supporter of this channel all right if you find this video helpful do me a favor and smash that thumbs up for me it helps me out more than you can ever imagine and if you haven't already done so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications so that you get notified every time i upload a new video all right that's it for this video in the meantime check out some videos on the right hand side of the screen and I'll see you guys next Friday.